You guys should have lost that last Alrighty. All right. Good morning. And uh, welcome to the meeting of the Subcommittee on Zoning and Franchises. I am Councilmember Francisco Moya, uh, Chair of the Subcommittee, and today we are joined by Council Members Casa Constantinidis, Antonio Reynoso, uh, Donovan Richards, and Barry Gradenchuk. Uh, today we have a very quick agenda. Uh, LU60, the application to operate an uh, unenclosed uh, sidewalk cafe at 150 50th Avenue uh, in the Council Member uh, Van Bramer's district in Queens was withdrawn, so we will uh, not have a hearing on that item. So today we will be voting to approve LUs 61 and 62. Uh, the NYPD's uh, 116th precinct application, approval for this application uh, for site selection and acquisition uh, of a police precinct station house and zoning map change to map a C13 commercial overlay in an existing R32 district will allow for the construction of a new long-awaited 116th police precinct on the existing parking lot that is accessory to the existing facility. The property is located at 242-20 North Conduit Avenue in Council Member Richardson's district in Queens. And I know that uh, Council Member Richards and the entire Southeast Queens community have uh, worked hard on this and for many years. So I wanna congratulate him on this point. Uh, once uh, Barry is done talking. Um, <laughs> May, may I proceed, uh, council member? Yes. Yes. So uh, I want to uh, give uh, council member Richards the opportunity to uh, state his remarks. Yes, I am, Barry. <laughs> uh, you know, you're the last person I saw before I went to bed just about, and now you're the first person to see this morning. It's <laughs> not a good thing. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> <laughs> My wife's watching, that was a joke. <laughs> um, <My wife. laughs> well, good morning. First off, I want to thank you, uh, Chair Moya, for your leadership in, in helping us get this done. Uh, the current 105th precinct encompasses 12.7 square miles with 354 miles of roadways, including seven major highways. This is more highway miles than a trip to Boston or Washington, D.C., but I'm happy to say today we are one step closer to making the issue of a long of long response times in a distant police presence distant police pre presence a thing of the past for the residents of Laurelton, Rosedale, and Springfield Gardens with the new 116th precinct. This has always been about public safety and equity. Our community should not have to beg for this. And we just want the same things every other neighborhood wants, to feel safe in our homes, on our streets, and at our jobs. Administration after administration have denied the pleas of our community, but I'm thankful to Mayor de Blasio and Commissioner O'Neill. We are finally delivering on a promise uh, after 40 years that some would not even entertain. The commitments for the new 116th precinct include $7 million for the construction of Safe City, a self-contained educational and administrative facility designed to help school students learn about street and pedestrian safety, and of course, as we see uh, congestion in our city and our roadways in need of a lot of paving, uh, I'm happy to announce the administration has also committed $1.4 million for street repavings desperately needed for the area surrounding the new precinct as well, and a minimum of 800 square feet of dedicated community facility space and agreement to meet quarterly with a community advisor, advisory committee throughout the design and the construction phase of this project. Not only is this a victory for all of Eastern Queens, but it is a very special victory for the advocates who have been calling for this for nearly four decades. Want to shout out uh, Best to Beat Them, uh, Community Board 13, as well for uh, putting this in their budget uh, concerns every year for the past 40 years, and this is a major victory for them as well. I'd like to thank Mayor de Blasio, Commissioner O'Neill, once again Zoning Chair Francisco Moya, DOT Commissioner, uh, Queens Commissioner Nicole Garcia, Philip Heller, Nick Smith, the Land Use Committee team, Raju, Amy, and John, uh, and of course uh, my colleague who, who represents a little eastern uh, east from me, uh, Barry Gudinchik, who really, uh, when we came in, said he wanted to prioritize this as well, and we worked hand in hand on this. So very grateful to everybody. Want to thank my staff member Devaney Brown, who really worked 
uh, day in and day out on some of the negotiations to get this done. And we're finally here. Uh, this is a big victory uh, for our community. It shows that uh, persistence overcomes resistance on any day. So thank you, Mr. Chair, and I urge everybody to vote aye. Uh, congratulations again to you, um, Council Member, for your hard work. Uh, we know that you've been working on this for a long time, and uh, this is going to be uh, something very, very uh, good for your community. So congratulations again on that. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Sidewalk Cafe has been withdrawn, so we will also be voting on a motion to file LU60 in Council Member Van Bramer's district. Uh, so with that, I move for a vote to approve LU61, 62, and a motion to file LU60. Council, please call the roll. Moya. Aye. Constantinini. With congratulations to both Councilmember Richards and Gudenchik and our Chair Moya, I vote aye. Reynoso. I vote aye. Richards. I forgot to thank Julie Lubin. Thank you. I vote aye. <laughs> Gudenchik. Permission to explain my vote, Mr. Chairman. Permission denied. Oh, <laughs> man. That is cold. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> That would please, be the first. please proceed. I, I, uh, I thank you uh, for your tardy permission. Um, first, uh, let me add my voice to Councilman Richards. Uh, this has been, uh, as I said last night, at the rollout of the community policing in the 105 precinct, uh, this has been a dream for 40 years. I was 18 when people started talking about this, and my colleague uh, here was not born yet. But uh, because of people like Besta Betham and uh, tremendous civ civic leadership all the way up and down Eastern Queens, south of uh, the Grand Central Parkway, all the way down to Meadowmere. Um, we're getting this done today, and we take a closer step. So I want to thank my colleague. Uh, he led the parade here. Um, I'd love to show you. Someday i got to show you the emails I got back from the civic leadership. Uh, drawers were dropping all over Eastern Queens that morning. So thank you, Donovan, uh, for your outstanding efforts here. I want to thank the mayor and the police commissioner as well. Um, it took 40 years of mayors and police commissioners before this uh, desperate need was realized. Uh, it's very hard to get up and down Eastern Queens when the Cross Island uh, Parkway and the Laurelton Parkway is a jam. So thank you uh, for your efforts and for seeing the need. I want to thank all the civic leaders over the generations who uh, advocated for this, uh, the leadership going back for a long time. I want to thank Richard Hellenbrecht for coming to testify at the hearing that we had last week. and. Um, it's really a great victory. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I uh, will vote aye on all. Thank you. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero negative, and zero abstentions, the motions to approve LU 61 and 62 and to file LU 60 are recommended to the full land use committee. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, we're going to leave the rolls open for another 10 minutes. Uh, and just want to thank all the land use staff for their hard work uh, on this uh, project. Thank you.